This week on Cabela's Outfitter Journal. We're heading west for a big game extravaganza. First, we'll follow Paul Newsom and his good friend Max Fairchild as they pursue the majestic bull elk of New Mexico. Then it's off to Montana with Eric Pauly as he hunts Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep. It's a western big game bonanza you don't want to miss today on Cabela's Outfitter Journal. New Mexico boasts some of the most scenic vistas of any state. That's why they call it the Land of Enchantment. Today, we're headed to the Sangre de Cristo Mountains near Chama in search of bull elk. I've been hunting all my life and uh, I can remember coming home on Sunday, whatever we were doing, we were playing touch football, uh, basketball or whatever, we'd all, uh, several of my buddies and I would break and go home and watch the American Sportsman. And I always had this dream of uh, having my own outdoor TV show, like Kurt Gowdy, American Sportsman. <laughs> so in the uh, early 80s, I started getting into advertising along with my wife and, and uh, we combined our businesses and uh, started a video production company too. Well. I've been hunting all my life. My dad started me hunting when I was probably six or seven in the mountains of southeastern Oklahoma, beautiful, beautiful Kai Michigan, Winding Stair Mountains, rivers and streams in that area. And um, it was just kind of natural. It was just kind of, I'd already learned to produce television commercials and, and shows and that kind of thing. And, and to combine that with um, hunting was pretty much natural for me and so uh started producing my own shows my own videotapes and, and it just kind of went from there and i had a tv show on somewhere uh, on one network or the other or both for probably 15 18 years well my buddy max fairchild and i had hunted uh, quite a few times in the past and we're all hunting buddies and uh we've been planning to go back to uh Chama land and cattle for a long, long time, and and uh, this this past year we got an opportunity to do that. It's you know bar none. It's probably my favorite place to elk hunt in all of North America. Ooh, there elk moving all over. It's gonna be a good morning. I mean, the wind's light, probably five to seven miles an hour. It's gonna be cold tonight. Gonna come up, the sun's gonna come up bright and clear. Gonna be a beautiful morning. Oh you're gonna be able God. to hear, you're gonna be able to hear right bugles for a long ways away. They're coming out early tonight. Last night, it was really windy. We weren't seeing any bulls hardly at all. You know, they're hanging up in that timber and they don't like that wind down in the openings. But tonight the wind has laid. There's been stormy weather for the last couple of days, lots of wind, some rain. Tonight they're all coming down really early. So tomorrow morning, me and you, baby. Mm. 
Cabela's Outfitter Journal is brought to you by Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter of hunting, fishing, and outdoor gear. Ford F-Series, built for bold moves. Built Ford Tough. Brunton, this is my Brunton. And by Thompson Center Arms, America's master gunmaker. What makes you the best? Determination, experience, success. At Cabela's, we think it's more important to live the legend than be one. But hey, when you're good at what you do, word gets around. For the best in hunting, fishing, and outdoor gear, count on Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. With best-in-class payload, Ford F-150 was built to handle anything you can throw at it. But hitting the bed of a pickup with 30,000 pounds of force doesn't prove anything. Driving away does. Ford F-150. Now that's tough. Triumph with Weather Shield, the new Magnum muzzle loader by TC. There it is. Michael, what are you doing? Cabela's would like to offer you the best Visa Rewards program available. This program will allow you to earn free gear at Cabela's with every purchase. Anywhere Visa credit cards are accepted. There's no limit on points, and they'll never expire. And the best thing is, there's three easy ways to redeem them. Through our catalog, internet, or one of our many retail stores. Members receive exclusive offers through this program. So join the Cabela's Club Visa program today and start earning your free gear from Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. Welcome back to Cabela's Outfitter Journal. We're in New Mexico hunting bull elk with Paul Newsom and his hunting partner, Max Fairchild. Now, let's see how the boys do. My old buddy, Max Fairchild, we've worked together, we've hunted together, we've been working hunting together for probably 15, 20 years. Uh, Max is shooting first. Max is up first, and then it'll be my turn. The very first day, we got into some, uh, a couple of pretty incredible encounters. There was one particular encounter that uh, we kept hearing this bull bugle, <clears throat> and we got up on a high and we glassed him. We saw him way down low, and there's another bull or two with him. You know, satellite bulls, those big herd bulls allow that, and uh, several cows. I don't know, eight or ten cows. I can't remember exactly but we got around this one ridge on them and came up over the top. And there they were down in the bottom and you could see this big herd bull and, the, and of course they spotted us pretty quick and they started heading up. They started heading up that ridge and uh, we tried to get on him and Max had gotten set up on the side of this hill, but this big herd bull kept winding in and out uh, of these cows and going into the brush and out of the brush. And pretty soon it was, he's 200. He's 250, he's 300, he's, he's 350, and pretty soon he got too far away to take a shot. We finally got on an, a, a, a good group of, of elk that had a, a nice herd bull in it. He was kicking those cows down this big long opening, and it was in the evening, and we were right behind them, and we came out of the timber, and then they turned around and looked back, and we started cow calling and, and stopping them, and uh, this one, this one really nice bull, the herd bull, uh, gave Max just enough time. Look 
comes another one. There's another one. It's the one on the left, Max. Okay. It's the big one on the left. I got him. He's the wider one. You got him? Yeah, you got him. You're going straight you're away. Gonna, you're going to have to stop him when he's walking away. There he is. He's turning. Okay. Keep your gun on him. I got him. He's still moving around a little. I got him. You got him? Yeah. He's down, baby. He's down. He's, He's done. Going down now. Yeah, he is done. <laughs> he is done. Good shot. <laughs> oh, Good shot. big bull. Big bull. Beautiful bull. Yeah. Oh. Well, we barely got on him, didn't we? We saw those guys way up the top of this hill and tracked them through here. We came out on this opening and they were headed right straight down the bottom. It's what? Uh, 5.30 in the evening, they're headed downhill. Yep, but it's not too late yet. We still got a lot of daylight now. <sighs> we, kinda, we had a good idea where he was headed. Take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing is, he is down. Look at that. Holy cow. He's got some mass, don't he? Look at the length man, of Man, that's a good job, man. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. yeah. Look at that. Look at the sword point on that. That's front sword. He's got some good mass in here. Look at the length of that main beam. Look at that. I, what, what I noticed that main beam, the point of this main beam was way back there on his hindquarters. Yeah, yeah look at that. When he was walking That's down. Look at that. It's a good sign of length, you know? You know what? Wide. You know what? I'm not trying to cut you short. We gotta get you one, buddy. Let's go. Hey, Let's you ready? Come on. Let's do it. It's my turn. It's, it's, your, right. turn. <laughs> it's your turn. It's your turn. Great job, buddy. Yeah, thanks, great buddy. job. You seen? Good bull. We saw some great bulls today and yeah. yesterday. Yeah, he looks good. We finally got up on this guy after we saw him about what a mile away. Oh, it's been a little over a mile, probably. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Right. The hard work. We got another hour of sunlight. Yeah. Let's get it done. Maybe we can hunt for a few more minutes when we're All finished. Right. Right, well, it's my turn. Uh, the next morning, we uh, traveled around to another part of the ranch and uh, walked into an area that it, it's kind of a little ledge that looks over this huge valley. And from this one ledge, you can, you can see different parts of the valley from parks to ridges to uh, hills and, and great places uh, for elk to be hanging out. And sure enough, we, we saw several different elk in several different places from that vantage point. And uh, at one particular time, we hung out there for a while because all these elk, you know, like I was talking about, all these elk are down low. And they're starting to head back up into that higher elevation uh, after they feed all night in those parks. And, and uh, we were sitting there and glassing and everything was moving up and, and all of a sudden we see these two big bulls going up over this ridge. It had a, a green, like a green park up on top of this, this ledge. It was probably a half a mile, three quarters of a mile away. So we had to get around and come around and, and get up on top of that ridge and try to catch up with them. Cabela's Outfitter Journal is brought to you by Purina Pro Plan, fuel the champion within. Spot, live to tell about it. Cabela's Club Visa, rewards for every season. And by Gerber, fend for yourself. Take an incredible adventure to the world's top hunting locations. Hunt for over 20 species of the most sought after trophy big game. and surprise encounters with dangerous game. Are you ready for the ultimate hunting adventure? Cabela's Big Game Hunter, available now. Rated T for teen. The leader in hearing enhancement and protection products has done it again with the all new Walker's Game Ear HD line of products. Each newly designed Game Ear HD is equipped with high definition features that will help you experience the outdoors with digital HD clarity. Just when they thought we couldn't make them any better, we did. The digital Game Ear HD, high definition, the next generation.
I won't apologize for being a man. Or let you work harder than me. I will protect those in need and be the guy others depend on. I will fend for myself. 99%. That's right, 99%. Testing done at Rutgers University found Scent Killer to be over 99% effective at stopping replicated human odor. What's your number? 99%. Scent Killer, 99%. 99%. Mine's 99%. 99. That's some serious performance. Use what the pros use. Scent Killer, over 99% effective. Look for the 99%. Welcome back to Cabela's Outfitter Journal. Now let's get back to the elk hunting action and see if Paul can't connect on a New Mexico monarch. In case they drop down the bottom earlier, we might can see them cutting through there. Well, at least we got a choice. We'll go sit down over here. Look at the glasses over here. Okay. Over by that tree, we'll get right over here. Okay. and go down in the bottom right here behind us. So we're just gonna sit here and we can hear them bugling in the distance. So it sounds like they're coming this way. Look, here comes the first dead bull. We have movement. Hey, look at that one. There comes a bigger bull. Holy cow. Back underneath that tree? Yep. He's following that cow. He's right behind her. Holy cow. Hey, Paul, you got seven on one side. He's that, seven on both. Yep, he just turned. He's got them on both sides. That was a great <laughs> shot, boo. <laughs> that was a great shot. He disappeared. Shot. Did he go down? He went straight down. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Oh, 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 Jeffrey. Oh, Paul. <laughs> oh, you can live with that. Golly. No ground shrinkage. That's a good bullet. Oh, holy cow. What a bully, how big that body is. That's a massive body. That is. Yeah, this bull's got some good mass, got good length. Seven by seven, my gosh. He is heavy too. Yeah. What an animal, you know? Every now and then a plan comes together. <laughs> Every once in a while it works. We've seen some incredible bulls. And this evening, yeah. you know, about an hour before sundown, we spotted these guys coming down this ridge. 
You know, one of my mottos is don't guide the guide. You said, I think I know where they might come out. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it worked. Textbook. It worked. Cabela's Outfitter Journal is brought to you by Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2. This time, the hunter is the hunted. Walker's Game Year. Hearing is believing. And by Wildlife Research Center. Hunt smart. Nobody ever plans to get lost in the Adirondacks or to run out of water in Death Valley, snap his mainsail, or break an ankle. But it happens. You need help, and you're way out of cell phone range. Got a plan? Here's one. It's Spot, the world's first satellite messenger. Your personal connection to the outside world. Call now. It's $169 that just might save your life and give your friends and family peace of mind. Hey, it's your life. Live to tell about it. Cabela's Outfitter Journal Magazine is packed with informative and entertaining articles covering the latest tips and tactics and the top hunting and fishing destinations across North America and beyond. Cabela's Outfitter Journal Magazine is dedicated to helping you get the most out of the time you spend outdoors. Call now or visit us online to order our one-year subscription. That's six issues for only $9.99. And if you call today, we'll send you a seventh issue free. Now, let's head to the Bob Marshall Wilderness Area in Montana with Eric Pollock. Eric will be hunting Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep with his good friend, Brad Birch. We're in the Bob Marshall Wilderness. Eric drew a tag in 441, and uh, I live just about 50 miles from here and I've I spend probably two to three weeks a year in the Bob Marshall Wilderness whether it's a summer pack trip or hunting up here in the high country um, I do a lot of mule deer hunting and elk hunting and I've just got to know this area really well and and when I had the opportunity to take Eric with me uh, sheep hunting um, I love the mountains and it was a great opportunity to come up here and, and spend time up here looking for sheep it's not a good shot Rough weather prevented Eric and Brad from seeing much on the first two days of the hunt. He's going to come right to us. But on day three, their luck was about to change. There you go. Okay, you ready? Yep. Hold it, hold it. All right. No, no, don't do anything. Just be patient. <laughs> Easy, Eric. He's walking right to you. I'm gonna lose him. Ready? Big horn. Oh man, what a day, huh? Holy cow, Brad Birch, you're the man. That was awesome, he came right to us. <laughs> well folks, you saw me shoot that ram 60 yards. He was walking up the trail right to us. When he felt, when he died, he fell down this chute. It's kind of an avalanche chute. We still haven't seen him yet. 